everybody, and good Tuesday evening to you. It is 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. It is weather for weather geeks time. Unfortunately, we have kind of a gloomy Wednesday in store for the area, but we have lots and lots of good news coming in early on, uh, early on in June, I should say. But first, let's uh, review today because, you know, we had an, an advance of mid-level cloudiness um, during the overnight hours and this morning. Made for some school, uh, cool sky optics, easy for me to say, um, including some you know, brief uh, mammatus clouds here in the Boardman area, thanks to Alexia, who submitted this picture. Don't forget, you can submit weather pictures to us, weatherpix, P-I-C-S, at WFMJ.com is the email. You can also submit them right on the Storm Tracker 21 app. You just scroll down and find the Submit Photo button. And uh, be sure and follow me, Eric WFMJ, on Instagram, Storm Tracker 21 account on Instagram. Has some cool pictures as well. So, yeah, some Amatis clouds this morning. We also had a great sunrise this morning with this uh, advancing cloud deck. We had a red sky at daybreak this morning. You know the old saying, red sky in the morning, sailor take warning. Usually means, not always, but usually means that that means clouds are advancing and some precipitation may be on the way. It's not going to be much tonight, but yes, some precipitation is indeed heading our way. By the way, on 21 News this evening at 5 p.m., I did about a three and a half, four minute explainer about the science behind the May 31st, 1985 tornado outbreak. That video is now online. You can go to wfmj.com slash weather. Go over to the right-hand side. You'll see that along with our other weather videos, including each day's weather for weather geeks. By the way, in case you've never seen these, I, I do some <clears throat> a few times a year, several times a year, actually. I do some you know, seasonal appropriate uh, brief explainers. These are like one minute long on individual topics. We call it Wilhelm's Weather Why. Uh, so we just uploaded a fresh batch of those last evening. It's all about summer and heat and lightning and storms and things that we oftentimes talk about in the summer season. So all sorts of good stuff on WFMJ.com slash weather. And uh, don't forget, uh, you can always watch the latest videos also on the Storm Tracker 21 app. All right, it's been a pretty gloomy second half of the day today, but the clouds have been, you know, it's been more bark than bite thus far. We've had some legitimate raindrops down towards I-70 for a time. Some of these raindrops off to our west are trying to reach the ground, and, you know, there might be a shower or a sprinkle that tries to pass through over the next couple of hours, but it's not going to be much rain until we get to uh, tomorrow morning. In the meantime, it's another active evening down towards the Gulf Coast region. A few severe thunderstorm watches out in Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi as well. We're in kind of a respite in terms of severe weather risks around our part of the country. I don't expect any severe weather possibilities anytime real soon around here. What I do expect, yeah, some rain to push in as many head out the door Wednesday morning. Not much happens from, you know, 9, 10 o'clock this evening through 4 or 5 in the morning, but by about 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, some rain's going to be pushing in. Some showers are going to be around as many head out the door. And I think this will be the wettest part of Wednesday, the first uh, part of the day. The rest of the day, though, we will be fair game to see a shower here and there. The sky may partially clear for a time. Wednesday night might be a shower or two in the mix on Thursday, but I think Thursday overall will be a better day than Wednesday by a fair margin. Now, a lot of this rain that you see here to our south on Friday morning is probably going to try to miss us to the south. We may get clipped by a shower before Friday afternoon is through, but the better chance of wet weather is later Friday night and into Saturday morning with this next cold front. It's a pretty strong front, and there will be a fresh batch of cool air that arrives in the wake of that front for the upcoming weekend, but I like what I'm seeing in the longer range. You know, we've been talking about this for several days in a row now. If you've been watching Weather for Weather Geeks of late, and I've been posting on my social media about the pattern change as well. The persistent trough that has kind of lived over the Great Lakes in southeastern Canada and New England uh, fairly frequently in the last few weeks is finally going to get the boot and will be replaced by what we call a long wave ridge. In other words, you know, a ridge that encompasses a good part of the North American continent, extending from the Gulf Coast region up through Hudson Bay in Canada. And underneath this ridge, yeah, it's going to warm up. It's going to be beautiful outside, we think, Sunday, and especially into early next week. I think we've got uh, some highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s in our future as we go deeper into that first week of June. So, you know, I know a lot of people are itching for summer and pool season and that sort of thing. It's been, you know, a, a slog here in the last 10 days. Uh, the last 10 days have been the coolest stretch or the coolest, you know, stretch, 10 day stretch at this time of the year since 2002. It's been, you know, what's that, 23 years since we've had a stretch of cool weather that's lasted this long specifically at this time of the year. So we're ready for some warmth, and some warmth is certainly heading our way by next week. In the meantime, thank you for watching this Tuesday evening edition of the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. We'll meet back here, same time, same place, on Wednesday.